Kingfish playing, and in a few minutes, Mr. Bob Weir is going to join them. Uh, Bob had a motorcycle accident a little more than a week ago, and he's resting. He's going to come out and sing with Kingfish in a little while. So enjoy. Thank you. We'd like to th thank Tom Peterson and his crew for building this stage for us. How about a hand for him? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Woo! This one's for you guys. Hey, Howard, how you doing?
privilege to be here in Pyramid Lake. I mean, this is incredible. Oh, you are. 
We're gonna do a little song. Uh, I'd like to send this song out to David Crosby. It's called uh, "Goodbye, Your Honor." <laughs> you know what I mean. Sing a song for us. Yeah, something from the new latest Kingfish. Baby, I know it can't be 
I'd like to take a second here to introduce these folks to you. You all don't mind meeting them, do you? I didn't mind. Let's see, over here on the drums, we have Mr. Jimmy Sanchez. His partner in crime on the bass, Steve Evans. On the lead guitar, Steve Kimmock. Super Binky. He flies. He leaps tall buildings at a single. Um, let's see. The founder of Kingfish over there on harp, guitar, and vocals, Mr. Matthew Kelly. Let's see. I think I can remember my name. They call me Barry Flast. And this, this enchantress over here is going to sing the next song for you. She's known as... The incredible Anna Rizzo. Two words. We call her two words. Anyway, she's going to do this tune for you. This is something, this goes back to 1970. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this to the lady that originally recorded it, Janis Joplin. Go one night stand. Laying in a town without a name And I'm feeling low and everyone around me looks the same and By some chance you catch my eye So you come on strong and try to make your play Well just because we love tonight I hope you don't think it's gonna stay that way Taking by the hand, play that game again. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I go, people try to make some time with me. That's okay, I suppose, if everybody knows that the next day I can't be free. 
having such a good time, baby. You're the one who has me tonight. So don't you go and spoil that good thing just because you feel Thank you.
assumption to help you with the pain. There may not be someone to remember your name. So come back the bullet. In your last broken heart And you know Nothing ever hurts as much as love And you know Nothing what you hurt has been Hurt enough And you know Nothing ever hurts as much as love Love, love And you know Nothing what you hurt has been Hurt enough Thank you. We're going to take on a little cruise here since we got the lake out there.
kicking up here. Mm. All right, this one's for Mary and Laura.
That's uh, David Perper back there on the drums that came out to join us. He's going to play the rest of the set with us. Yeah. <laughs> Is it good for you too? Yes. You know, uh, Bobby really had no business coming out here today. He's got a broken shoulder, as you probably know, and he's here for the sake of you all. So you might want to give him an extra big hand when he comes out because uh, his doctor told him he shouldn't come, but he's here for you. So he'll be out after this song. Thank <laughs> you. 
Take just a few minutes here. Get the get the energy just right. We have to adjust our energy level. Howard, could you make make a slight adjustment to my energy level, please? <laughs> I love you. Don't change a thing for me. It's obvious Bobby can't play guitar today, so we're going to have to get all the help we can get. John Tip Lee is going to help us out here.
What? Hey, come on. Oh, yeah. Vicky. Vicky. Who do those tabalis belong to? Your band? Smart. Good thinking. Do those tabalis belong to Zero? Can you give Jimmy Flynn? They're all yours. Just two. Okay, I think we're all here now. Let's hear it. Whoa, shake those clouds.
much to miss at the festival. If you're looking for romance, well, you can find this at the festival. Or maybe a little adventure, maybe with a little twist at the festival. out for the shade at the festival. If you're looking for some fun, <laughs> you got it made. Hey, the festival. Don't need no excuse to have a parade at the festival.
Lucky there. Lucky there. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared ask for business, no one dared to make the slip. Stranger there among them had a bigger nose. Outside, so we're looking all around. He's an outlaw loose and running, came the whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. In this town, there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him, and that many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer, though a youth of 24. And the notches on his pistol numbered one in 19 more. One in 19 more. 
the strangers started talking, made it plain to folks about. Was an Amazon a ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take an outlaw back alive or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, but he was after Texas Red. After Texas Red. Wasn't long before the story was relayed to Texas Red. But the outlaw didn't worry, man, they're trying to fall with death. Twenty men tried to take it, twenty men that made a slip. Twenty-one to be the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. Now the morning passed so quickly, and it was time for them to meet. It was twenty past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks was watching from the windows. Everybody held their breath. They knew this handsome ranger was about to meet his death. About to meet his death. Stop to make their play, and the swiftness of the Rangers still talked about today. Texas red had not cleared leather where a bullet fell, ripped, it. and the Rangers' aim was deadly with the big iron on his head, big iron on his head. It was over in a moment, and the crowd all gathered round. Before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh, he might have went on living, but he made one fatal slip. And he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. Hey! Big iron. Big iron. He tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron. Princesses and kings And clowns that paper in Sort of strings And common people like you and me We build this for eternity Each is given a bag of tools Shapeless masks And a book of rules Make of life his own A stumbling block Or a stepping stone Yes, common people Like you and me We build letters for eternity Each is given a bag of tools Shapeless minds And a book of
How about a little something from Live and Kicking? Come around my door. Hey! 
As you see, we're winging it. But I guess that's the brakes. <laughs>
Yeah, David Perper and Jimmy Sanchez on the drums.
Okay, Kingfish, you're not going to do an encore, so clap real loud. All right, I think he got it. You see, see, the thing is, it that instead of Mickey in the Daylights, we'll be doing Mickey in the Twilights. So we got to uh, just uh, boogie on down here. Please remember to drink bunches of water. Water is sacred. Water to the left, water to the right, or jump in the lake, as they, uh, as they say. What? Homer Ely, come on backstage. Homer Ely. Come on back. Will Weird Billy meet Jane at the information trailer? I remember Woodstock. But these are the good old days. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've been saying, the 80s, the 80s are just the 60s 20 years later. Old feathers and a brand new bird. You betcha, Red Rider. Next weekend, for those of you... Uh, in Northern California, it's, uh, we're going to be doing this thing called the Spirit of Service at Chabot College. And you catch uh, Bobby Weir there maybe talking instead of singing. And myself and Ram Das and Mimi Farina and Jack Kornfeld and, and Bill Wapipa. How many people remember Bill from Cowboys for Indians? Yeah, that's right. And uh, Pat Ellsberg, uh, that hashy's crazed, commie agitated uh, Wacko, wonderful woman, and uh, all the people in the Bay Area that run the soup kitchens and the uh, working with the Diane people or the hospices or all that, we're having a big conference. And if you want information about that, call the SAVA office in, in Berkeley, California, and maybe you come to the conference and I'll see you there, yeah? It's going to be a good one. Remember... That this is an incredible lake. This resource might not last unless everybody gets on their senators, their congressmen, you know, and stay on their case because the, the lake is filling up and it's filling up and we're not going to let the water out. It's just going to get fuller and fuller and fuller until it's all filled up. <laughs> you bet him. That's it. But, but that, that ain't going to happen unless we take care of business. So remember to phone or write your senators and congressmen. And don't just call the easy one like Ron Dellums. That's like, uh, you know, singing hymns to the choir boys. You want to you wanna give Pete Wilson a jingle there. The person you've just reached is not a working person. <laughs> Please hang yourself up, Pete. And this, this guy, uh, Lexhall, man, what a cretin uh, you poor Nevadaites have to deal with, man. Send him... Uh, you know, <laughs> woo, I love him from a distance, man. <laughs> Homer Ely, Homer, come on backstage, Homer Ely, we're looking for you. Okay, okay, if you have lost anything or if you have found anything, bring it to security. Security is totally...